If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to control your test data in JMeter so that you can change it on the fly and then it will get reflected in your test. For this experiment, we are going to leverage the newest plugin uh, from BlazeMeter called Redis Dataset. And uh, before we uh, get started, you have to install the Redis cluster or, or you should have the access to the Redis cluster either locally or in the cloud. So I'm going to leverage a solution called Memuroi for uh, Windows because I'm using Windows operating system and to install the Redis compatible uh, cache or data store for Windows, I'm going to leverage this Memuroi. So this is very straightforward. Just click on the download for free, which will uh, download the developer edition and just install it like any other software and it will run it as a service. If you go to uh, services.msc, you can see the Memuroi. This service is running uh, automatically. Uh, you can turn it off once the uh, test is done, but I'm going to keep this running so that I can show you uh, how to push the test data to the Redis cluster. And next you have to install the uh, plugin from uh, plugins manager. So just click on this plugins manager and uh, give a search for Redis. Uh, you will get the uh, plugin details and just uh, check this box and hit apply changes and restart JMeter. And this will appear uh, under the uh, config element uh, JP at GC uh, Redis data set. So here we are going to fill uh, certain details. So by default, the Redis uh, server uh, port is uh, 6379 and uh, as I'm running locally, it will be my uh, local host. Okay, before uh, we uh, configure this uh, Redis data set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data set in the Redis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my terminal and I'm going to uh, change directory into uh, program files, uh, memory and I'm going to uh, launch the CLI, memory-cli.exe. So this will log in into my local host at uh, 6379. And I'm going to create a new data set. Uh, so let us uh, push the uh, new data set. So the key is say colors and I'm going to enter the value say red space blue space uh, green. So right now just three colors and let us uh, push it. So I'm going, I'm using a left push or you can use R push also. And to see these values, so you can enter the uh, command uh, L range and the key is uh, colors and start is the range. So zero to minus one, which will give you the uh, all the data, uh, green, blue, uh, red in the reverse order. So now our key is colors and the value is red, blue, green. So we are going to, uh, extract this data in JMeter using the data set plugin. So before that, what I'm going to, to do is I'm going to change a certain uh, configuration in my uh, thread group. So I'm going to put loop count as infinite and I'm going to add a, a timer so that I'm not uh, testing it uh, too vigorously. So constant timer, say uh, 500 milliseconds. Okay, and I'm going to add a dummy sampler just for uh, testing purpose. And I'm going to name uh, this as say uh, color name, color underscore uh, name. Okay, and I'm going to copy this uh, variable. And in the Redis data set, I'm going to enter the Redis key. So Redis key is coming from my uh, command prompt here. So the Redis key is colors. So colors and the variable name is color underscore name. So this is the name uh, we are using it in the dummy sampler. And rest is uh, default. So make sure your data source type is list not as set because we are using list. And I'm going to uh, keep everything as a default and uh, install instead of blank value of the Redis server host, I'm going to enter uh, my uh, local host, which is nothing but 127.0.0.1. Uh, and 
let me add a listener just to see whether the uh, test data is uh, getting retrieved from my uh, redis uh, instance okay and yep now we are good to go and i'm going to hit run so now you can see it is uh, taking the uh, green blue red uh, green blue red and so on and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this in the left side and in the right side uh, my terminal so what i'm going to do is now let me clear this i'm going to add new colors so i'll push to colors value is say uh, purple orange uh, violet magenta and so on and uh, let me clear this and let me hit enter in the terminal so now there are seven uh, values so here on the left side you can see it is taking the new values from my uh, redis uh, instance so here you can see magenta violet orange purple and uh, in the right side if you uh, take the range uh, colors uh, say 0 to minus 1 you can see there are seven colors and here also it is taking the uh, latest values from the redis uh, data set so now let us uh, push the values again so let us push colors see invalid color or i can say uh, hexadecimal some some values one 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 something so now you can see here again it is taking the values from my redis data set so this is how you can leverage the redis data set and you can uh, in the on the fly you can push or you can uh, pop and it will get reflected immediately in your jmeter test run so that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please, please let me know uh, and if you have uh, not at uh, signed up for the uh, QA Insights community, please sign up at community.qainsights.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.